Number 44. A rescue helicopter is hovering over a person whose boat has sunk. One of the rescuers throws a life preserver straight down to the victim with an initial velocity of 1.4 meters per second and observes that it takes 1.8 seconds to reach the water. List the knowns in the problem. All right, so first let's draw a uh, picture. So we got this helicopter thing going on over here. <laughs> and um, my drawings are absolutely pathetic. And um, it's hovering over the water, right? Okay, so now um, what they tell us is that they tell us that someone on this helicopter throws down a life preserver uh, with an initial velocity, right, of, so an initial velocity of 1.40 meters per second. And they observe that it takes 1.8 seconds to reach the water. So the time to go from the helicopter all the way down to the water is a value of 1.8 seconds. Okay, great. So now what they want us to do is they want us to list the knowns in the problem. So there's one thing that's also known in the problem that's not actually stated in the problem is the acceleration due to gravity, right? You have to realize that as soon as this life preserver is released, it's just floating in air. Anytime an object is just floating in air, you will always know the acceleration in the problem, okay? It's the acceleration due to gravity. Well, assuming the problem is on a planet, okay? Um, or some type of body with a decent amount of mass. So I will write in also that we do know the acceleration due to gravity, and that's negative 9.80 meters per second squared. Okay, so that works. So those are my knowns. That's what I know, okay? What are the unknowns? Well, the unknowns would be, cons would be the height. Right, so how, what's the height difference between the helicopter and the water? I don't know. And the other variable that I don't know would be the velocity, right, at which the velocity, it looks like a U, the velocity at which this life, um, uh, life preserver hits the water with. Okay, so those are my unknowns. Great. So now question B, uh, part B is saying, how high above the water was the, per, uh, was the preserver released? Okay, so it looks like we're looking for the uh, displacement, right, or the X, okay? We know the initial, we know the time, and we know the acceleration. So take a look on the right-hand side. What um, equation relates those four variables together? And yeah, it would be number two, right? So let's use equation number two. So it'd be the displacement is equal to the initial velocity multiplied by time plus one half acceleration times time squared. Okay, so the displacement will be now, be careful about how you plug in your numbers, okay? Um, I do wanna be very clear that right now that this initial velocity is, has to be a negative value, okay? The reason why it has to be negative is because the object is moving in the negative y direction, okay? So anytime it's moving downward, you always gotta remember to pull again the negative signs. Uh, otherwise, or to the left that is, otherwise answers are not gonna come out very well. Okay, so the initial velocity is negative 1.40. The time is 1.8. I'm leaving out the units because I know I have consistency in them. I've, I looked them over before I plugged them in here, so. We're good to go. Negative 9.80 for the acceleration, and the time again was 1.8, and that'll be squared. Okay, let's just do some math now. So, um, negative 1.4 times 1.8. So it comes out to, and we're going to have two significant figures here because of this number. So negative 2.5, all right, and that'll be now minus. So we're going to have 0.5 times negative 9.8. Uh, times 1.8 squared. And that should work out to be, right, the I already put in the negative sign there, so a negative 15, and we're gonna have two sig figs again, so actually negative 16. Okay, great. Now when I do the math here, all right, sig figs are important. Um, not really, but, <laughs> and they're important for doing well in your test. Um, so negative 2.5 minus 16, all right, we get a value of negative 18.5, but the value would actually be negative 19, 
uh, because since this number here only goes out to the uh, ones place, okay, and then the number here goes out to the tenths, I can only take the value with the least number of decimal places. So I have to, my number would only go out to the ones place. All right, so technically this is the right answer. All right. I didn't mean, fully mean that significant fact. I feel actually a little bad. I didn't mean the f significant figures aren't important overall. They do mean something in science, but, um, you know, I know a lot of people don't like them. So in any case, guys, thanks for tuning in. I just realized before I sign off here, I have to put in my units, right? Negative 19 what? Negative 19 bananas, my physics professor used to say. No, meters. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Remember to subscribe. Until next time.